Hey guys, it's SOZ Designs here, and um, I found this guy Martin Gross, and I've had to study him for my art coursework. And I've seen that he's used these like box patterns in quite a lot of his work. And here's a really good example. If I just show this in full screen, and um, this is his box pattern thing, and I thought that it looked really good, so I sort of tried to make it myself, but sort of. Uh, a 2D sort of version of it and not as 3D like this but more 2D sort of like that because so, this bit here doesn't look as 3D as that bit so on, if I just go into sh Photoshop and show you like here I'll just try to copy this flat bit overlaying and I've made that so it can go with my background here and um, I'm just going to show you how to make that and uh, so I'll just delete these I was just really trying out stuff. Uh, there we go. Oh, I can't do that right. Uh, I'll just make anything. Right, sorry. <laughs> um, first of all, just make a new uh, project and um, have it whatever size you want. And then, first of all, what I did was just make random objects basically. <laughs> And um, I ended up with that. So if you go over to the polygon tool, which is up here, third down, if it's not there, you just hold and hold and uh, let go on the polygon lasso tool, and just start making your random object. So I sort of went for an object like this, like that, and make sure you're on a clean layer, and um, go over to the fill bucket and fill it in the color that you would like it like that I'm just going to bring it up a bit right, see that and then deselect it <coughs> and that's basically the first thing that I had like that but then I want to create sort of that flat thing around so I created a new layer to the polygon lasso tool oh, I'll be back in a minute. sorry about that I'm back now and um, just go over to your polygon lasso tool and create a new layer and um, well first of all just create this first object which is the first um, the layer which is overlapping this and make sure you don't do the bottom bit yet yeah, I'll show you after that so just make that like say I'll just do a random object that's a bit weird well and then just fill that in the color <coughs> like that And now you just need to create the bottom layer which is underneath here and the reason why we did it as two different layers is because we want to add different gradients and stuff to each one so go back to the polygon lasso tool and just go over to, to that and go up to here and back down like that so that, curve, that goes under them too like that So now over here as you can see I've made these large so you can see it easier. Um this is a large object. Yeah, and um these are two uh overlapping ones. So this one is the one which is on top of the large object and this is the one on bottom, so just move that down below it, like so. And now it just still looks like one big blob, so we need to add um a lot of blending modes to each one so we go to the top layer right clicking to get blending modes and go up to drop shadow like that and um, I think the size is best at say 85 just click OK and that sort of gives it that effect but still not the right effect which is going around because this this here hasn't got a shadow beneath it so just right click copy layer style paste the layer style and there you go that sort of gives it the effect already which is a that's an alright effect but it doesn't really look as good and professional as that no does it excuse me <coughs> right, sorry. Um, 
So, um, what he's done is that he's added gradients and stuff. So this is what I'm going to do. So if you go to the top layer again, and um, actually, uh, if you're putting this onto a background like this, then you need to put a, a shadow on this as well. So better to just paste, paste the layer style onto that as well. So, um, so go back up to the first layer, right, double click to get blend in options. And to get a gradient, we need. I'll just make this short so we can see it. Oh, can't. Oh. Like that. And just go over to gradient. And we don't want black and white, so we just click the first one. And change the black to this color. And um, we sort of want it to go from. Say. Uh, on, so there goes. So from a sort of a dark here, that's sort of because it's gone under there, but I think it still looks quite good with the shine. So sort of a, a dark here, a normal uh, light colour here, and then a dark down here as it's sort of bending out the light. So if we go back over to Photoshop, we can, this is the normal colour that, that we want. So if we just create a new one and make it about a third of the way across, like that. And that's the normal colour that I want to keep the same. So we just go to the first one and go to colour. And just make that a tad darker. Like so. And then this one is the really dark one. So we just click colour and make that about this that dark. Like that. And there you go, that's the gradient that we've got sorted out. But the dark's in the wrong place, so we're just going to have to start the angle. So like that. Maybe a bit more up here. Play around with it. Uh, so like that. That looks all right. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that gives it sort of the effect. Now you just need to add a um, gradient to the bottom one. So right, double click and um, you get blending mode options or even gradient, gradient again, and the top one. And just I drop the bottom. Click the black color then I drop that color you want and um, now you want this to be a tad darker as well so if we go down to about there click OK like that and then um, sort out the angle like that and maybe play around the scale a bit like that so it's sort of darker underneath them too and comes out to be lighter like so, um, that sort of gives it the effect which is bending around. That's not in full detail, but you can mess around with it and um, sort of choose do it your, um, yourselves and sort of uh, play around. Because I'm not, I'm here to teach you stuff, but uh, I sort of want you to uh, try it yourself and learn. And this, I'm just going to bring up a bit like that to give it that sort of uh, darker effect here and um, just and then just add a gradient to this larger effect gradient and we want that to be like that and um, just want that to be sort of darker here you want that to be more dark underneath this one don't we so like that and that's looking Pretty nice, like that. How oh, what am I doing for time? Eight minutes, right? Ten, nine minutes even. Um, and now um, that's sort of the basic effect. You can put it into more detail than what I have. And um, <clears throat> he sort of added a sort of a three D effect, which I might try. And if I succeed at it, I'll put it as a second channel, not a second channel, even a uh, a second video. Um, but that's about it for that effect uh, please give it a like if you liked it basically if you didn't like it dislike it I don't really mind um, well, I do mind dislikes but if you didn't like it then this, this uh, your your opinion isn't it but um, that's an alright effect it's not really the best excuse me <coughs> <coughs> but it's a simple effect to put on 
to like um, backgrounds and stuff here to put your picture in. Uh, so have it like that and put your picture in and uh, stuff. That's my new uh, new logo if you like it. And um, yeah, I've gonna try and hopefully get some more speed outs up. Sort of lacking behind on my channel at the moment. But I have got an exam tomorrow and on Friday and a few mocks after that so I've still got a lot of exams to do whilst doing this but um, as I'm doing my f my art course work on Photoshop I'll see if I can record some of that and put, post it on. If I can't sorry but um, yeah that's about it. Cheers if you liked it and you haven't subscribed already please do. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Cheers. Bye.